Right, good evening everybody. Um, been asked by quite a few to follow up the video I did on the uh, UART on the PS4 Slim. Um, a lot have asked about the OG and um, so I thought I'd uh, drag my old box out, connect it up and, and show you. Um, right, let us move in. Um, this is basically the machine, uh, as you can see, it's, it's a bit uh, hacked about, but as I say, it, uh, it gets used for a lot of all sorts of things. Um, the actual connections to the board, um, I did find online, I've got to be honest, these weren't mine, these were by a gentleman. Um, I've left all the details on the picture. Um, there's the uh, the shot you can take. You want to use the ground and the URTX. That's all you need to connect to. That's all. Um, and what you need, you need a uh, a UART. Now there's various types you can get. Um, probably the FTDI would be the better. Um, there's one there in the picture you can just see. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I... Oh, yeah, I have got one here. God, I didn't see that. Um, the FPDI. It's... Uh, I think eBay, or on eBay. I think there's a link on the last video where you can get them to. Um, you've seen the connections. Now, the the TX connection on the, the board goes to the RX connection on the uh, UART. And then the ground goes to ground. I've got um, the RX connected as well um, on the board, which you don't need, just too hard to do, that's fine. And so what you end up with um, is this. Right, it's a little bit of a hectic, um, so we can move that over a little bit, there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do, the actual unit is already booted, I'm going to reboot it. Now what you're going to see on the right hand side, this is coming from the UART and the program is called PuTTY. Um, again, this is on the other video. Um, what that will do, um, on the last video I went through the, all what you have to do to enable the UART to work. You have to modify the NOR. That's the same, exactly the same for this as it is for the SWIM. Uh, on the top left what you'll see is the scope. And um, that is looking at the data coming from the um, the the, uh, the box, um, and it's decoding it as it comes in. Now the thing is, all it's doing it is showing it as the ones and zeros, which all the data is, um, but it's coming in a form of ASCII uh, in um, in data form, which would be ones and zeros. But the fact you can read it is because it's actually coming in an ASCII format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot the machine um, from reboot. I'll better plug in the actual controller at mine out. I'll just pull the plug out. So you'll see shutdown and then you'll see the reboot. Now let's go. That's, that's just me pushing buttons. Right. So here we go. That's actually restart. You can see the data on the scope that's coming out. The little green blodges you can see are actually blocks of data being decoded on RS232 and being decoded by the onboard decoder. It possibly won't be quite correct because, um, well it should, be, it should be, but the thing is it's not going to mean a great deal because it's just coming through so fast that I can't capture it all. But what you can capture is all what's going up in the uh, on the right hand side there, the data. That's like the old, um, when you start up a Linux box, it uh, reports anything that's incorrect and, you know, memory errors and stuff like that. Um, what you can do once that's finished, you can actually capture all that data and paste it into something like a text editor um, and then go through it all. And it will tell you, that's now finished booting by the way, um, where, what problems it's encountered. Now this particular box has got a artifact that um, causes a problem on the graphics. 
when you're running anything in high resolution, which unfortunately is the GF, uh, the GFX, it's the core in the APU, which I can't do much about. But it's ideal for just tinkering with and using for experiments. So we've um, captured a chunk of that. Now, let's just come out of here for a second and go back to... Right, that's basically what I've captured. Uh, I can sort of scroll through. You can see from the top, you can read that a little bit better. I'm uh, not going to go through in too much detail. It's the problem you've got on there. It's actually folded around on itself because of the uh, about trying to cram it all in. But if to say, if uh, so, I'll spread it out a little bit that's better. As I say, if you're really getting into uh, this type of diagnostics, then as I say, there's quite a lot of detail about it on various different uh, platforms. Um, the biggest issue is actually programming the NOR to enable the um, UART to work. But as I say, you need to watch the other video, uh, the Slim, which is, uh, you'll see it up there, you can't miss it. And um, that's where I show how to program the NOR as well. So this is just for the, uh, the, um, the PS4 OG. Um, you can see the connections. Uh, I will put them up again so you can take a capture. And I'll say it's the ground and the UART TX, the two leads you need. And the ground goes to the ground on the UART. The UART TX goes to the RX on the UART. Uh, on the UART, if you get the same one as I showed you, uh, you need to connect, um, let me go over to it, there we go. There's a little jumper um, right up on the near the header, which you set to 3.3 volt. And then the connections, um, I'll try and take you and show you the other one a bit closer and see if we can't uh, um, show you the connections to it. Hang on, I'm sure I got a close up somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, the grey wire is on the receive, the RX on the um, UR, and that comes from the TX on the board. The white wire you don't need, and the black wire is ground. Now, the other wire, of course, is a USB cable. That goes to your PC, and you need a little program called PuTTY. Now, that, I believe, uh, is also on the other uh, video I did. There's a link to it. Um, it's reasonably self-explanatory. You just set it up for the uh, serial port. You set your COM port to whatever the UART is. Right? COM port 3, I think, on this for me. Um, then you need to set your baud rate, which is 115200. Um, I think there's screenshots on the other video to show you that. And uh, you should be good. But as I say, you do need to program the NOR first. So you have to remove the NOR and program it. And you have to change one byte in the, uh, the NOR. Pop the NOR back. Or it can all be done with the, if you go to BWE, their software, the validator will do all that. But you will need to sort yourself out a programmer. Uh, right, well, there you go. That's it in a nutshell. So... I hope it gives us some use. Until next time, take care and good night.